There's never one gold span dragon. There's always two. But this time, I was faster. I threw a freaking rhino in your face. Horn first, five damage. Get out of here. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. Once more, I hope you're having a wonderful freaking day. I know I do, because today I'm playing one of my favorite freaking archetypes, and I made it even a little bit better, as I always try to do, you know, always try for the top. But before we get into that, I really want to say thank you for all the support over the past, past few weeks. The last few weeks, yes, that is what my mouth wanted to say. But it kind of didn't. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes this and this doesn't work together really well. So that is what is up. So today, as I said, we're playing one of my favorite decks. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Skeletal Swarm hammering. Oh baby, I love this card so much. There is so little that people can do against Skeletal Swarming nowadays. They really need to play a Binding of the Old Gods, you know. That is what they need to have. And that is why we have it. Or they need to have Boseju. That is why we have it. If they are having like their own Meat Hook Massacre and we can get rid of it, well, we are going to do it. So let's get over the cards real quick. Let's start with the early game. We of course have some Shambly Boys, you know. Shambly Boys to uh, sacrifice the Deadly Dispute. That means that we can have a turn freaking 3 Skeletal Swarming. And that is just super freaking amazing. Turn 1 Shambly Boy, turn 2 Deadly Dispute, turn 3 you play your third land, you have 2 treasures and you freaking play the Skeletal Swarming. It is super good. What are they going to do against the Skeletal Swarming on turn 3? Nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. You will get your Skeletons down faster than I can say, Oh my lord, that was a fast Skeletal Swarming. And that is just what is up. So, then we have the Eye Twitch, which gives us access to Environmental Sciences, Necrotic Fumes, the Containment Breach to get rid of their enchantments, Pest Summoning to get some more creatures down, the Masked Exhibition and to confront the past to bring back our Loth or our Sorin Coon. We really need those on the battlefield to protect our freaking face because those skeletons have to attack in so yeah we cannot really do too much with them so we can only slam freaking in so this is the early game deadly dispute infernal grass and we also have the tainted adversary in the early game this is just super freaking nice you have a two three with death touch can block everything destroy it right away of course this dies to a dragon's fire but does everybody have a dragon fire i don't think they do and together with the meat massacre that is just super nice and once you attack in with your zombies, you even get another skeleton for freaking free. Because these will decay, you get a skeleton because a creature died. And you can also deadly dispute those zombies to get even more freaking out of it. And this will get bigger and stronger for every single time that you make two zombies win it when it enters the battlefield. That is very darn nice. Because if this becomes like a 3-4, now the dragon's fire is not that good anymore. And also you can just slam it in their faces with the freaking Zeotora. And that is indeed super darn tasty. The only thing that is not so tasty is that these decayed zombies die after combat. So you cannot do anything with them end of turn because they will be already gone. So Zeotora is sad about it. But hey, we're not here to please Zeotora. We're here to please you with a fresh new deck every single day. We have the Prosperous. So that we can even get more skeletons, uh, even sooner skeletons. And we get a life every time we get a skeleton. That is also super darn good. We have of course the Meat Hook Masker. So if our skelly boys are big and strong already, slamming in Meat Hook Masker, bam! Freaking Death Touch. You know, not Death Touch, but the final touch that will destroy them. That is what I mean. So, then, uh, where are we? Sorry, the Murphless gives us a vampire, gives us some life, same as Prosperous, and draws us cards. And if we ever get to the minus seven, we just win the game. This Binding of the Old Gods is also super darn nice because it can find us. The Zeatora Proving Ground down there. That one down down below there. The, the, the one down there. You can't even see man. That one. That one down below there. Because it is a freaking forest. So that is super darn nice. And it, we like nice things. We want to have nice things. So what you can always do with this deck. Is bring down a Warchop Warchief. Gain yourself three life. But you can also blitz it. And if you see a Zeatora is down while well, your Warchief is also like blitzed. Now you get in for 5, you get 3 life, you throw the uh, freaking Warchief in their face, now that is 10 damage and you draw a card and you make yourself a Rhino. These two together, insane value. Freaking insane value. 
And we love that. We love that insane value. Same as the loaf. Every time a creature dies, you make her bigger, you can get more spiders. Those spiders work very well together with the skeletons because now you have trample and manis. And talking about manis, we're also rocking three hive of the eye tyrants. So why is the tainted adversary such a nice card in here? Because first of all, you can throw it into your face, pretty darn sweet, but also in the late game. You already have six mana because you have Zia Torah. Now you throw something in their face like the Workshop Warchief, now you're on nine mana. Now with this, if you draw another mana and you go into 10, you can activate this two freaking times. Well, maybe nine mana is enough. So you activate this two freaking times, that is six, plus the two it costs, that is eight mana. So with eight mana, you can get yourself four freaking zombies on the battlefield and make this a freaking four or five. And that is just very darn delicious. Trust me. And the good thing about the Proving Ground is even if you don't freaking need it anymore, you can just cycle it. That is also why we have to take a Numa so we can like, you know, mill ourselves some cards, get the Zeatora back or maybe the War Chief because this does not get exiled. It just sacrifices itself. So you can get it back with the Takenuma. And that is just very darn nice. And yes, we will forever rock these beautiful lands and this one you haven't seen yet or this. So yeah. This is also very darn cool, Mount Fuji by Yume, and we have by Nicole Gustafsson and Maria tu Turina, these beautiful freaking forests. They are just everything I want the land to be. Otherwise, we still have, you know, the three of the items, one Takenuma, the Puseju, we have two Blightstep pathways, three Darkboard pathways, three Death Cap Glade, two Rock Fairy Veil, and the three Ziatora Proving Grounds. Is there anything I have forgotten? I don't think so. So yeah, if you're up against a mono black deck and they have the Invoke Despair, well, it can get rid of your skeleton swarming. But usually, you know, you're not only going up against mono black decks, is what I'm saying. Why did I say it? So that you will encounter nothing else but mono freaking black decks. So today we have some beautiful games. I can promise you that much. So I hope you stay tuned. I hope you will enjoy. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those swarming games. We're back in our amazing outfit. We're up against Okamoto. Hello, Okamoto. I got the reference, let me know. Opponent's going first. We have three eye twitches. <laughs> okay. Now, there must be a sign. You know, that must be a sign. A sign that we're good here. Uh, we do have the Inferno Grass. We're up against Is It in the first game. Maybe it is the, uh, the, the, the deck again. You know, the one with the, um, you know. The, the big one. Okay, I know what this is. It's a freaking, um, what's her face? You know, the, 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 the Hinata deck. It is a Hinata deck. Okay, that is still fine. We do have the Infernal Grasp here, so I'm, I'm okay with it, you know? I'm actually okay with it. And uh, we will just keep it up. Play the Rockfall Veil here, I reckon. We go with the white source. Makes sense. Oh, they don't. Don't go with the white source. Okay, doesn't make sense. But okay. You do you, my friend. You do you. Still slamming in there. Still playing the eye twitch. You know, that is like three damage every single turn. What are they even supposed to do about it? And then one day I will just be playing this, uh, you know, tainted adversary. There she is. There she is. Okay, Hinata. I was just waiting for you, you know. I was just freaking waiting for you. And here you are now. Here you are. Oh, Hinata. Oh, Hinata. You were so not unexpected here. I knew you would come down sooner or later. Oh, Wokamoto. You're so predictable. Here comes a gold span dragon, though. Oh, it's another Hinata. Okay, well, it's a little bit unexpected, I have to say. A little bit freaking unexpected. Okay, we are attacking him with everything here. Alrighty. So they do have a counter spell or something like that. I'm pretty darn certain that they do. Uh, we're getting ourselves the necrotic fumes here. Okay. And we're bringing down the uh, zombos. Because why the freaking heck not, you know? Why the freaking heck not? So if they do have everything they need here, that is impressive. That really is. But we do have a freaking meat of massacre still waiting for them, you know? We do still freaking have it. So yeah, let's try our darnest here. Are the phasing out? Okay, still making myself the zombos. Still am. 
And it's a meowsing. They do have it, don't they? They do freaking have it, don't they? They don't. Okay. So let me see here. This is two, four, six, eight. Going to be ten. We will see if we can turn this around, man. Why do I say turn around? Well, because this is pretty darn good for them still, you know? This is already pretty darn good for them. I mean, they have not and a handful of stuff, so yeah. Okay. That is nice, I like it. You're still losing one life here. I'm drawing a card. Losing two more life here. That is pretty darn tasty. I like it. I really do. And we are trying to get rid of the Sinata here. See if they do have anything. I still do have the Eye of the Eye Tyrant coming down. The Test of Talents. Oh my lord. Okay. I mean, hey. They had to have something here, you know, sooner or later. They had to have something at some point. But we will see if they have more. Or if we can get the Hinata deck. With our freaking, like, we didn't even, like, play the deck really. We just did our thing, you know. The Spike Field is hard, though. Alrighty. What is your last card, though? I really wonder what your last freaking card is, my friend. Nothing. Is it nothing? Is your last card just nothing? Oh, my lord. Their last card. Heart was nothing! Oh! Mr. Ripkiss! You are nothing and you will never be nothing! Yes, that's what a mask reference! That wasn't a mask reference! Get out of here! I was so afraid, Pegasus! Alright, they're in the big diamond desert where I wanna be. We're going first. I would not keep this hand if I didn't have the Prosperous Innkeeper, but as I do have the Prosperous Innkeeper, all we need to do is to find one land. And with the Binding of the Old Gods, we will be very darn happy. Oh yes, we will. So it's a Zia Tora on Zia Tora violence here, as we can see, you know. And yes, I chose the Zia Tora today because we're playing the Zia Tora, so why the heck not, you know? I'm going full on themes sometimes. I do, and I like doing that. All right, all we need is one land game. All we need is one singular freaking land and we're kind of freaking fine. Because then we can play the binding, into the binding, into like, you know, whatever. We oh, okay. All right. There's the land. I love it. I really freaking do love it. Okay. All right. So we have to. We freaking have to. And we're up against somebody that plays the most annoying deck there is right now. The most freaking annoying deck there freaking is right now. Maybe we even find another land here. Would be good. Would be darn freaking good. Illuminated Virtuoso. Alright, they do have something to protect it. I really don't like it at all. I really freaking don't like it at freaking all. Not in the slightest, my friends. No freaking way. All we can hope for is to be a little bit faster than they are. That is all we can hope for. No TX. I hope they are attacking in. Let's just hope they don't have the thing right away. I know we played this person already. I know we did. And it was terrible. <laughs> terrible, I tell you. So yeah. Let us just hope for the best here. Alrighty. They're doing this. Why ever, man? Why freaking ever? I will create a treasure token here. Don't you think I won't? Yes, I did create a treasure token here, my friend. I did do that. I did freaking do that. What are you doing? Playing another Illuminator Virtuoso. Oh, cheeky. Freaking cheeky. Okay. All right. We'll be playing another one here. I know they have something to protect it. I know, I know. But we need to land. I hope we would find a land here. I really hope we would. But we haven't. We freaking haven't. So, this is not looking too good right now, buddy. We're still doing stuff, you know. It's not like we're super dead already. It's not like we're super dead already here. I mean, we're super close to dying. 
But maybe we even find something to work with, you know? Maybe we do. Maybe we freaking whoop de doo Okay, that is nothing to work with, to be honest. Nothing at all. Alrighty. Let's bring down the tainted adversary here. Gaining some life back. Very much important. We can still play the workshop war chief afterwards, you know. We can still do that. And maybe, hey, maybe we even find something to work with here. You know, that would be great. That would be freaking great. Okay. So we can block these things now. With our tainted adversary. Which is also pretty darn good. If we draw another land, we will be super freaking happy here. Super happy. Alright, they're still having things here. A meowsing. Freaking a meowsing. Okay. I'm not surprised at all. They're throwing away a Storm Chaser Drake here. That is never a good sign. Alrighty. More freaking righty. So, they are looking very, very good here. Very good. Very darn freaking good, I have to say. If they have another March of the Swirling Mist here, they can just destroy us utterly. Oh my lord, that is so good. So good. You know, that is just so good, man. Two Illuminator Virtuoso, you know, you need nothing else. Just two freaking Illuminator Virtuosos. That is all you need, my friends. That is all you freaking need. All you need. Nothing else. Just nothing freaking else. I mean, hey, they also have the mana to just do it once, Mori. Oh, that is just like, come on, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, good game, my friend. Good game. <laughs> we were one away from getting into a new rank, and that is what we get. Somebody with two Illuminator Virtue. Get out of here, game. Get out of here. Man, I really do hate that deck with a passion. And you know what the worst part is about it? Most all of the cards will still be standard legal. So that will be the new crave. You know, the new freaking crave. All right, I kind of like this hand. We go in first, that is why I like it. And we do have the Prosperous Innkeeper into a, oh my lord, maybe even a skeletal farm here. So let's try to bring that down right away. As fast as freaking possible. Oh no, the horror. We'll be chilling here. Can I have the hit? I don't mind. I don't mind at all. What else have you got in here, though, my friend? Oh. Oh, I played the wrong mana. I played the wrong mana. I did not play it as a black source. Ain't I smart? <laughs> the answer is no. No, I'm not smart at all. Okay, skeletal swarming your up. Get down. Okay, so we have them skeletons. We do have the uh, workshop war chief here, which is also super good. The Enrico Domnati, yeah, we were getting rid of that right away. Right freaking away. We cannot have that. Not at all. Not freaking allowed, my friend. No way, Jose. Okay, I like it. I like them not having anything here, you know? That is exactly what I want. Okay, and we're making ourselves two Scally Boys here. So they need to be a little bit careful, you know? They cannot just go nilly willy here. The loaf! Well, that is a little nilly willy if you think about it. That is just a little nilly willy if you think about it. Uh, yes, please, that one. Okay. Bring it down here, here. Getting rid of their uh, freaking uh, spider here. Drawing some cards. I like it a lot, I have to say. My I really freaking do like denied. it a lot. And now we are slamming in the loaf. Nah. Alrighty. Very good. Like Very darn good. Yes, I don't mind that. You can have it. But we're making ourselves some more skeletons. And I will also cycle this. So if they don't have a Meadog Masker here exactly, or a freaking board wipe in any way, they do have it. Otherwise they wouldn't be attacking in here. Otherwise they would not be attacking in here. That is super annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. 
Because we still have the skeletal swarming. So yeah, go ahead. I will just get myself the confront the freaking past. So, what you gonna do about that now? Well, I told you. I told you they had it. I told you they had the blood on the snow here. Well, the Nodder Hive Deiterant is not exactly what I'm looking for here. But hey, but hey, you knew. We can just blitz in that workshop, war chief. Another hive of the eye tyrant. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why not? You know. Why the heck not? Drawing freaking ten lands, eleven lands. <laughs> At least there is blood on your hands. So we're not flashing that one in. We're just bringing it down like a clown, Charlie Brown. Okay. We have all these hive of the eye tyrants. We can still attack in. You know that's beautiful. Oh, that was kind of to be expected here, that they had this, you know, kind of to be expected that they had it sooner or later. Okay, you're racing here now, my friend. Are you oh, my lord, game. That is like the only thing the game can do to freaking stop us. You know, the only thing it can do to freaking stop us is giving us nothing but lands. Nothing but lands all day long. Yeah, impressive game. Pretty darn freaking impressive. Come on, wipe the board. Go ahead, destroy my rhino. You do that. You freaking do that. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Good day to you, sir. Good freaking day to you, sir. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here, man. All these lands now even serve a purpose, you know? They even do serve a purpose. And that purpose being that I still have two hive of the... Get out of here! Trying to defeat the master of Mono Black with Mono Black. All we got was lands. Get freaking out of here, game. Trying to smash me. I will crush you, game. I will. Because I am the master of Mono Black. Get out of here. Alrighty, so we're one away from Diamond Tier 2. We're up against Croc Fan. <laughs> Croc Fan. <laughs> All right, we can have a turn for a freaking uh, scattered swarm, so that is pretty darn nice. Is this a mirror match? Kind of might be a freaking mirror match, but we do have the Meatwork Masker, so I'm all right with that. I actually am. Okay, let's not show him what we're packing. And let's just slam in there. There's literally no reason not to. <laughs> oh my lord, I almost choked here. I need a drink. I need my coffee. Okay, yeah, I mean, hey, I'm pretty certain that we know what we're up against here. I hope we find something other than land, because up until now we have only drawn lands. That ain't no bueno. Ain't no bueno at all. Okay. So bringing down the skeletal swarming. I hope it will stick for at least one turn. That would be pretty darn cool, you know? Pretty darn freaking cool indeed. We will see, though. We will have to see, though. Okay, it looks okay here now. All right, that is super annoying. That indeed is super... They got a land? They got a land. Okay, that is still fine. I like that. I really do. Okay. And uh, we are attacking in... All righty. Now we're drawing some cards. Making two skelly boys here. I think that that is absolutely all right. Having two skeletons is just better than one. Um... Did we already play a land? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. So let's not do anything here. Let's make two scally boys. Just perfect. If they now have the, uh, you know, the um, perfect answer here with the uh, Invoke Despair. So freaking be it. The Meadok Massacre. Okay. That is absolutely alright with me. They're absolutely alright with me. It couldn't be more alright, you know? Could not be more alright. So is there a reason to cycle this? Not yet. Not freaking yet. Another land. Impressive game. Pretty darn freaking impressive. I have to say, I'm impressed. Violence is necessary. We'll bring down my own Meatog Massacre you here now. Just because why the heck not? Because why the freaking heck not? If they now do something to our board, we're kind of happy, you know? I mean, hey, look at this. Just beautiful freaking 10 lands. You know, nothing to see here. Just 10 lands. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, what you got here? The Invoke Despair. Okay. Very freaking good. 
We're sacrificing the Scally Boy. We're sacrificing the Meat of Masker. That is all right. You know, we do have the Binding of the Old Gods here, so that is absolutely a okay. We can just get rid of their Meat of Masker here. And I like that a lot. All righty. No freaking righty. So, is there a reason to sacrifice my... No, there ain't. There ain't no reason to do it. Just ain't no freaking reason to do it. We're getting the skeleton. And if they want to do something to our little uh, flyer here, we do have an answer, more or less. You know, we do have it. So, they cannot be using another freaking Invoke Despair. Otherwise, you know, I would just sacrifice my Binding of the Old Gods. Oh my lord. Okay, that is super annoying, but hey, still not the end of the world annoying. Um... I mean, hey, there's nothing we can do about it, is there now? Nothing we can do about it, is there now? Okay, I mean, hey, you know, we drew another land, just normal, <laughs> just freaking normal. All right, I mean, hey, it's not like we almost have no more lands left in our deck, you know? That is what, 11 lands in 19 once more. Impressive game, pretty darn impressive. I have to say, I am impressed, okay. Do you have a removal now as well? They do! They do have a removal now as well. Cool. Cool. Okay, well, they're not gaining any life for it. What did they exile? The soul transfer. Okay. That is fine by me. You can do that. I'm just a little bit sad that we drew all these lands, you know? Well, that is good. That ain't no land. All right, we're still doing things. We still have the war chief here. That is super good. The war chief is very darn nice. I like it a lot. And I mean, hey. We still have a small insignificant chance here. You know, the smallest of all insignificant chances. Okay. I will keep this war chief as a surprise. As a darn freaking surprise for them. I will draw here. Consider yourself fortunate, okay, that is good. I like it a lot, I have to say. So now if they want to do something, we still have answers, you know. We still do have freaking answers. If they want to slam it with the Lair of the Hydra, we still have the freaking Bozejo here. And if they have another freaking Invoke Despair, so be it. Okay, they do have another Invoke Despair. Uh, meowsing. Okay, hi Twitch, here you come. Alright, what else have you gotten though? What else have you gotten though? I bet freaking nothing. We're getting back to confront the past here. So now this is three plus the War Chief is eight. That ain't enough yet. Just ain't freaking enough yet. Uh, we're drawing here. Like, we don't need this one thing here. But we have all the Ziatoras Proving Grounds. That is also pretty darn impressive, I have to say. The Shambly Boy, I like that, I really do. The Tainted Adversary is also pretty darn nice. Alright, let's bring down the Shambly Boy. Let us see what the last three cards are here, you know? They better be darn freaking good. They better be darn freaking good. Okay. And we are bringing back the Sorin as well. Yes. All right. But we're drawing here. We're actually freaking drawing here. Out of my way. Reveal? Yes, reveal. I like that. Thank you very freaking much. Okay. So, hey, one pimp away, you know? And we got this. Freaking so many lands, man. There is two here. There is two in here. Oh, the Meat Dog Massacre once more. Alrighty. More freaking Roddy. Totally expected, kinda. Totally expected. Alright. But how many more Meat Dog Massacres do you have, my friend? How many freaking more? Well, that's impressive. That is indeed impressive. Okay. But there's our own Meat Dog Massacre now. So we can do this, uh, how many times? Two times. Auto pay. Auto pay. Hanging down is the Atoras Proving Grounds here. So let us see if they do have another one. Do you have another freaking board wipe here? Do you really have it? Impressive game. Freaking impressive. Freaking impressive. They will get it now. They will freaking get it. But... It still ain't enough, you know? Still ain't enough. Unbelievable. Unreasonable game. Unfreaking reasonable. But hey, if they get the board wipe here, you know? What is their last freaking card, though? What is the last freaking card? 
Yeah, that is so impressive, man. That is so darn impressive. I have to say, I'm impressed, game. I'm impressed. So what is your last freaking card? Nothing. All right. So, let's get rid of their things here. Let's get freaking rid of it. We're still slamming in there for a lot of damage, you know? So what do we get rid of? We're getting rid of the Invoke Despair number one. All right. That is still seven damage coming their way. Is Sound still dead? Feel like Sound is still dead. We're bringing down our own Metog Masker here. If they play another Metog Masker, we don't really care about it. And that's it. That is freaking it. We're doing nothing else. Nothing freaking else. So what is your last freaking card here, my friend? Let me see. What is your last freaking card here? Is it something real good? I hope for you it is something real good because I'm slamming in it for exact lethal. For exact freaking lethal. 28 get mm, out of here. Your three mean of maskers weren't enough to stop the army of Malone, man. Diamond tier two, here we come. Here we come. The only thing that could stop us right now was the perfect virtuoso deck. And that is it. Skeletons rise, rhinos rise, zombies rise. We are Golgari. We did it! We broke the curse! We're up against Ricola! Alright, Cola! We're going first! What is this, Krimis? I'll take it! I'll gladly freaking take it, game! Thank you very much! We will have a Tora, we will have a Workshop Warchief! We're up against Is It? I hate everything about it! I really do! <laughs> oh, playing up against Is It is always brutal for us! Always freaking brutal! It really is! Okay, they're doing nothing. I like it a lot, I have to say. So let's slam in there. Okay. Keeping up our deadly dispute. So we will have a very early Zyatora. Is what we're doing here. Okay. Very nice. I mean, what are they supposed to do against the 6-6? What are they supposed to do against it? You know? Oh, it's two lands. Okay. <laughs> normal. Freaking normal, you know? Nothing to see here at all. Just uh, the good old uh, two lands in a freaking row. Now three lands. That is eight lands in the first 12. Okay. That is how you lose games. <laughs> Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here, game. Impressive. Freaking impressive. Okay. I mean, we do have the Workshop Warchief here as well, so we can do that. What are we up against here? Some kind of freaking dragon kind of deck? Holy smokes, man. I'm in utter disbelief here. This is impressive. This is indeed impressive. Yeah, you can have that. I don't mind. I have a 6-6 six, six to slam in here. I do have it. And I don't care if you can do anything here. This is just nice. This is just very freaking nice. Okay. So, we're slamming in with the 6-6. Six, six. We're uh, throwing this eye twitch into their face. Right into your face. And we're even getting some value out of it. And I like this value. I do like the value. What are we getting ourselves? The containment freaking breach. So we can get rid of this sucker here. I really don't want it around. I really freaking don't. Okay. So they might have a titan of industry. But I don't think that they're that kind of deck. I think they're just a freak. Oh, they are that kind of deck. Oh my lord, they are. Okay. Alrighty. More freaking righty. Be that kind of deck. I don't mind. I really don't. So I will be trying to get rid of this containment breach here. And if they do have a counter spell, they will use it here right away. Uh, I will use the containment breach here is what I'm saying. Okay. Let's try. Let us freaking try. You know, there's only try. They do have a counter spell. It's going to be terrible for us. They don't. Okay. All right. That is fine by me. I would just slam in there now. They're blocking like this, they're blocking like this. They have a dragon's fire, don't they? Alright. Okay. That will still freaking trigger, you know? That will freaking fr trigger still. Yes, it will. Yes, it freaking will. Okay. 
Okay, Ricola. All right. I'm making myself the rhino. I'm shooting you for five here. You getting the skeletal swarm out on the battlefield? Hey, if you don't have the perfect game here, you will have a tough freaking time, my friend. The toughest of all times. Okay, what you doing here? You are attacking in with this? Okay. Questionable, but okay. I wonder if you have two things to answer my call. Do you have two things to answer my call, my friend? Do you freaking have them? I mean, I have this as well, you know? I have this as freaking well. And I will freaking use it. Okay. What you doing here, my friend? You skip! Oh, Timor! You tried with two gold span dragons once more! There's never one gold span dragon. There's always two. But this time, I was faster! I threw a freaking rhino in your face! Horn first! Five damage! Get out of here! Rhino horn! Right into your little monkey face! Oh, T dot T! That is where I wanna be, T! That is where I wanna be! Buddy, with the brass brows? Oh no, it is Boros, isn't it? It is Boros! I can smell it from here that it is! I can't! I knew it! I knew it! Final boss, my friends! Boros going first! Final freaking boss! Okay, that is only Kumano with nothing on it. Do you? Okay, they did not miss a land drop. That would have been too cool, right? That would have been just too cool if they did. Just too freaking cool if they did. But they haven't. Maybe it's just Mono Red. No, it's not. Okay, it's a Sunrise Cavalier. Hey, oh, not bad. Not bad, you know? Just a perfect freaking start here for you. Just a perfect freaking start here for you. Okay. So, one, two, three. I'm second this one here. Making myself a new treasure. Okay. So. I mean, hey. We're still looking very bad here. Very darn bad. As I said, it's the final freaking boss, you know? Boros going first. The finalist of all bosses. Okay. We have to take it. There's nothing we can do about it. Just nothing we can freaking do about it. Okay, alrighty, we're bringing down the Spider Queen now. And uh, hoping for the best, you know, just hoping for the freaking best. All we can do, all we can do is hope for the best. Of course, of course, man, of course, nothing to see here. Now watch him have a freaking uh, removal here once more. Yep. Okay. Hey, you know, Boros going first. Boros going first. Too calm, Flesh. Get out of here, man. Even with the life gain, we had no chance of against Boros going first. There's one every season. There is one every season. I'm not even counting that last game, you know. I'm not even doing that. That is just like typical Boros going first, doing Boros shenanigans. What? What do you want from me? You want to tell me that my deck is bad because I lost against Boros going first? Get out of here. I'm still salty as heck about that. <laughs> I can say, taste the salt all around my body. I should have a salty crust, you know? If I would found, get found by archaeologists, uh, my body would be so preserved like it is right now because of all the salt that I'm wearing right now around my freaking skin. But you know what always, always cheers me up? Seeing all these beautiful people on this beautiful list. Oh my lord, you're so many people. What is going on here? The list never stops and it grows bigger and stronger every single week. Just like we here at MTG Malones. All of you Maloniacs out there, thank you all so very freaking much for being here. Hey, if you are still here, if you are, give me a little swarming down below in the comments. Just so I know that you're still here. I would appreciate it very freaking much. I'm interested in how many people actually stay until the end and do what I tell them to do. I'm just kidding. But I'm very interested. And hey, if you are still here and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, share the video with one of your closest friends, and of course, leave a comment down below. Preferably swarming, so I know that you have stayed until the end. And if you want to support the channel directly, there's also some things you can do. Checking out the Patreon, checking out the membership, 
They're both below every single freaking video. But hey, always think of yourself first. Never do something like that without having the money for it. And remember that if you're waking up tomorrow morning, you see that beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror. And all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Mads Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.